hello everybody and welcome to this tutorial today I am going to just continue up on evil twin we have managed to get the client to associate with us but what good is it primarily because that client will not have internet access until we configure our network settings so that there is a bridge uh, between our fake wireless access point and an interface, our network interface, which actually has internet connection. Only then will the client on the other side actually be able to access internet and only then will we actually be able to harvest any sort of information of whatsoever. So on the right side for this purpose I have made a series of commands which you will need to run and they're not really complicated, it's more or less the same command running over and over again with different interfaces what you will need first is bridge utils so go ahead and type in yum let me just zoom this in for you yum search and I'm just gonna copy paste the name excellent there we go so it says bridge utils x8664 you need to install this hopefully by now you have learned how to install these things but just in case you didn't all you need to do is type in yum install and then paste it uh, by default it will pick up that it's this package x8664 just type in uh, yum install bridge utils space dash y and that's gonna install without asking you any questions now I have it already installed here so there's no need to go through the process next up what we need to do is have this one it says uh, bridge add evil uh, you can name it any way you like I have named it evil but it doesn't really matter uh, whatever the name will go this is com this name is completely irrelevant as far as I know so just type, go ahead and type in it says device evil already exists can't create bridge with the same name doesn't matter for me it already exists because I have previously created for you this command will just fly without any sort of problems of whatsoever now the next up the next thing that you need to do well this is uh, P where it says p8p1 that is the interface, let me just show you, I have config there's a whole lot of interfaces and information now here uh, we're gonna need to change the zoom here excellent, this is much better so look, the interface P8P1 is the interface that I'm currently using that is my wired interface and that interface has internet access what I need to do is bridge evil and p8p1 and that is exactly what this command will do for us so just go ahead and copy there we go okay p8p1 is already a member of bridge can't enslave it to the bridge evil so I've already added it so it can't repeat the process twice for you again the command will fly now we have uh, linked this intermediary evil interface inter interface named evil to the interface P8P1 which actually has internet connectivity however we also need to add to this the interface which is created by Airbase and that is AT, AT0, AT0 basically what we're doing is repeating the process twice so let's just go ahead and clear the screen paste so you see previously I have added P8P1 which has internet connectivity to evil I have bridged them and now I'm going to bridge AT0, AT0 to evil don't worry AT0 should be the same on your system because Airbase will create this interface for you no problems there all you need to do is bridge it to this intermediary and you will sh and you should eventually have internet connectivity press enter again I get an error message because it says that, it, that the process has already taken place and it cannot duplicate it for you it's gonna fly next up basically what we need to do is uh, add IP addresses to these interfaces and furthermore we need to bring them we need to change their state to up primarily because the states of these interfaces are not up by default and that can be a problem so you just need to bring it up manually no big deal uh, these commands are pretty simple and straightforward so ifconfig which we've used before name of the interface this is the strange as it might look this is this actually is the IP address and just say up excellent there we go confirmation no confirmation message no, nothing the command has uh, passed through excellent now we need to bring 
evil up as well. So our bridging interface, ifconfig, evil up. No need to assign an IP address there. And uh, we don't need to bring PHP 1, of course, up primarily because it's already up. It has internet connectivity. Just copy this as well, paste. So dh client 3 evil and percent sign, press enter. Uh, press enter. Yep, there we go. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Why, why are you giving me this? Let's remove the redirection. Excellent, there we go. So you can just type in DHC client evil and that should work as well. I'm fairly certain that this command has worked a moment ago, but it doesn't really matter. It says DH, uh, DH client is already running existing, so no need to actually uh, do anything here for me, but for you, you will just need to go and follow through pretty much exactly what I've said. Now, once this is configured, you see that my airbase on this side is still running. So I have not shut it down for, since the la since last time I did this. Uh, now the client on the other side, the f either the phone or a tablet or a computer or something of a kind that is connecting to our fake access point to our evil twin, will have internet connectivity, will be able to browse the net, and will literally suspect nothing. Because, you know, you get you get disconnected from wireless. It's not uncommon. I mean, be honest with yourselves. Ask, your, ask yourselves, if I get disconnected from a wireless for a couple of seconds, will I suspect that there is some, that there's some foul play here, that somebody's doing something, or that somebody's hacking, or something of a kind? No, of course not. If you get the authenticated, you will simply press reconnect or the device will reconnect automatically for you and while you're waiting for that reconnect you'll probably be staring at the device literally looking at it and not suspecting a thing. Anyway, in the follow-up tutorial I am going to show you how you can actually monitor traf monitor the traffic of somebody that is connected to your uh, fake, fake wireless access point and how you can extract that information. Until then, I bid you farewell and hope to see you in the next tutorial.